Welcome to Spring Every Day. In this video, I would like to show you how to connect Spring Boot to Okita and use Okita as authentication service. First, you need to come to the developer Okita.com and register a developer account. And with this developer account, you would be able to create an web application and you can name the web application anything you want and for this web application you would uh, have a client id you would uh, have a client secret and of course you would have a okta domain and this is what you need to config the spring boot project and after you create the application you can assign yourself or some, any user you can create it in the uh, Okta developer account to this application, which I have done that. Now you need to come to Spring Boot to do all the configuration. And the first thing you need is to introduce the Okta Spring Boot library which we call OKDA Spring Boot Starter into the palm.xml file. Once you have this dependence introduced, and you can then define in the application.yml file a OKTA configuration. So you define OKTA, you define OAuthor2, and you define the issuer. And this issuer, remember, you need to use the OKTA domain which is something you can get here in the Okita screen or website you will copy the Okita domain you can copy and put it here and then you need to define and redirect URI this redirect URI need to match what you define in the Okita website which is here so login redirect URI okay and then you need to copy the client id which is you can copy from here client id and you can define the client secret which is you can copy from here client secret okay now you have done the configuration you need to enable it in the uh, application main class so in the main class you create a class called okita author 2 adapter and this adapter will extend the web security configurator configurer adapter this is a class uh, in the spring boot security and in this class it's pretty easy or simple you can just say hey do everything authorized and everything authentication by the okida or author to logging and which will use the um, the will read all the configuration here and uh, enable the connection and don't don't forget to put a configuration here so that the spring boot start up and will read this uh, adapter and then will use this adapter for all your authentication now you come to your controller and in the controller you would uh, try to use a authentication principle and which is the U OIDC user, okay? Which is the OIDC user. And uh, this user would give you a full name. So this user and that username is what you would get here, okay? And, uh, and that's all you need to do to uh, connect your Spring Boot to Okada and then use the uh, user token which is uh, contain the information that you want the full name or first name or last name now let's do a test so if we start a new incognito window and we access this uh, application you will ask to be authenticated by Ogit, okay Once you authenticate it, you will see the same screen. Of course, if you authenticate it once, and the next time 
you won't be asked to authenticate again. So this is the authentication by Okada. Now let's do a test. See, um, because you don't have any user information maintained by your own application, it's maintained in the Okada, right? So let's see if we want to change the name from Spring to anything else. Let's see, we change it to Spring to Summer. Okay, um, and then we save. So now, oh, why we still have uh, Spring? Okay, let's edit it one more time. Summer and we save. Okay, so now you can see I we changed our name or well, this name username to be Summer. And if you come to a window and log in again, still the same user. And you can see hello summer every day. So basically, um, by using Okita, Spring can uh, delegate the user management to Okita and do all the user ID, password, and authentication authorization um, to Okita. And your application would only need to focus on the uh, business logic. So let's. Uh, summarize. Uh, so number one, you need to come to Okada to get a dev developer account. Two, you need to create a application which is a web application. And three, you need to assign your user to this application. And then you need to get all those uh, information like client ID, client uh, secret, and domain, and also your uh, redirect URL. Once you get all the, the four pieces of information and you come to Spring Boot project and you introduce the Okida dependence and you do the configuration in the application YAML as the Okida author 2. And then you come to the main class to create an adapter. And this adapter would uh, define everything authenticate by uh, the Okta, and then you come to your controller and you use the authentication principle to get the user you want and use the information in that user object. So that's all for um, connecting Spring Boot to Okta, and it's pretty easy. You can give it a try and let me know if you like it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.